it's a hard question and, and uh, we, we don't understand enough about it. So whatever I say is my thinking and, and it's speculation more than anything. But um, um, in terms of uh, the laws of nature, making reference to something eternal is reference to time. So I find that uh, difficult to follow because um, I, I think laws of nature are fundamental independently of space and time. Mm -hmm. So we can say laws of nature are universal rather than eternal. And uh, in terms of, of uh, the other view that uh, laws of nature are encodings of, of whatever order we observe around us, again, encoding makes reference to language. And, and it can be mathematics or it can be human language, but that is just a description of that principle that we call law. So tying up the existence of a law and the nature of a law to space-time or to language, I, I, I have trouble accepting that, that part. So in, in my view, laws are uh, fundamental. Um, and and um, those that are universal, meaning they do not change, and, and they are true everywhere, whether in, in cosmos, whether it's one universe or, or many. Uh, those, that, that's the set of fundamental laws. Of course, you can have um, some kind of ordering that changes with time, but those would be more like bylaws rather than, than the fundamental set of laws. So one, one can have effective ways of uh, uh, describing on average what the system will do with time and, and observe that it's changing, but, but that kind of effective law is more of a bylaw rather than, than a fundamental law. And uh, uh, in terms of fundamental laws, we, we know at least four that describe the forces that, that we observe in, in the universe. And, and uh, the reason um, that the four forces being uh, uh, electroweak, gravitational, and uh, electromagnetic forces, um, those laws seem universal. There, there is no evidence to suggest otherwise. And, and the, the reason why I think that these this fundamental laws exist in a realm of, of their own, independently of space and time, is uh, because of Gödel's theorem, incompleteness theorem. That uh, if they were part of this space-time, then we would have a self-referencing problem, in which case the whole machinery would collapse, would crash. Wow, and, and, and you thought I opened up a can of words. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <coughs> laws basically they're, they're regularities, so they're just, they're not really separate. They're just regularities that we impose on nature. Whereas you think that the laws not only are universal, but in their, are in their own realm. And independent of the language you use to describe them. Right, and there are laws are there, but they're in this universe. Yes. Right. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Blimey. <laughs> well, you see, that's dualism, which was outlawed by Descartes, basically, and is making a comeback. Ouch. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. Cartesian thinking also leads to the anthropic principle, so, okay. which I'm very much against. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's explore this. So, 